Hello, this is Victoria Wynn. I just want to take the fear out of painting on our six layered, super ornate Japanese wave. So look at this. I almost didn't even want to paint it because it is spectacular on its own. But what if we could do something even more spectacular or differently and also spectacular because this is really incredible. The supplies today that I've got are some acrylic basics paint. Um, I will be mixing these, so just grab some teals, greens, um, blues. I might be adding this um, green. We'll see. Depends on, this depends on mood, to be honest with you. Um, I've got some black, some white, so I'm going to be doing a little color mixing. And then, here's something new. So I was experimenting with our wooden fairy doors and adding the Sinatra powder. Sinatra is a luxe color shifting powder. It's sold on winmodernart.com and it is our best seller. So look at the rainbow effect. This is why it is so, so popular with acrylic and resin artists, even alcohol ink artists are sprinkling it onto their pieces because of that gorgeous warm champagne golden rainbow effect like you would see in a waterfall when you move this a certain way. So I'm just playing with that because I would like it to be one of my layers. I would love to make these like beautiful nautical colors but have some gold in there. And what I did is I just took some nail polish from the dollar store and painted um, or poured and then just kind of brushed it on. And then I sprinkled the Sinatra powder. Um, with the fairy doors, I was experimenting because we want something that is going to stay strong outside, you know, in moist temperatures and such. But what I learned is that it dries really fast. Nail polish stinks, but it dries really fast. And so I'm gonna do that on one of the layer layers, the same technique that I'm doing with the fairy door, not because this is gonna be outside, but because I want it to dry fast, because I'm so excited. You can also use Floetrol. Um, it comes out white, dries clear, but it's gonna take a little bit more time for my Floetrol to dry. You would just paint a layer of it, use a, use a simple foam brush and just wipe it on one of your layers, sprinkle on Sinatra powder, and done. Especially if you don't like the stink of nail polish. Um, but you do need to wait a little bit longer for it to dry. I want to do this whole video all in one to show you the whole thing start to finish. That's my goal. We're going to see. It kind of depends on how fast um, drying these paints are. So I also... Um, I have my little caddy here. I've got some foam brushes, sticks, scissors, cups, or some things nearby, including paper towels and some water um, if I want to be cleaning my brushes. We're going to see how this all is going to go, um, but what I want to do is just make sure that I'm as organized as possible so I can really just focus on the art and having fun. So organization first, and then now party time. So here's how this goes. Our back board is our dark, well, well I'm gonna do dark in the background. So we're gonna be painting this um, a dark blue like navy. And then each layer, I want it to go a bit lighter. So maybe a medium blue. So like navy blue, a medium blue. Maybe I start shifting into teals. Maybe this layer is my gold Sinatra powder layer. 
and then uh, softer teals, greens, and then maybe, um, or like a sea foam, minty green. And then this one, this is our foamy white for the waves. So, and also I really love this wood look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow the frame that's wood to show. So I'll paint my white waves, but when I get to right there, I'm gonna stop right there because I wanna see this wood frame. This is all personal choice and opinion. Do whatever you want. Um, of course, I'm just giving you my thoughts that it is so beautiful. It's just a way that I can like have everything. I can have my cake and eat it too because I really like the wooden look. But at the same time, to layer these in different shades of blue, like that's going to be gorgeous. And then a layer in between with a Sinatra powder. Yes, but I still want to feature the wood. Okay. Actually, um, so make sure to keep these in order, by the way, and then set them aside. And we'll do one layer at a time. I've got some black and some blue. You're gonna do a little mixing. You're gonna do this to what I would call taste, like to whatever, um, whatever you love. I think maybe I'll grab another lid so I can do my mixing on a separate lid. I like to recycle, reuse, um, and so lids from different containers that you might have sitting around or to-go containers. Before you toss that lid to your tostada, think about a way that you could use it in your art room, your craft room, and help out the planet a little bit. Now all I'm doing is just taking black, mixing with blue, and until I get the shade that I want. So far, I'm not quite as dark as I want, so I'm gonna dump a whole bunch of my black and stir it up. So start envisioning in your mind how you want your layers to look. Do you want dark to light in the front? Um, I'm thinking about doing one that has like a layer of like a bold red and using a Lux metallic powder, um, like in a color that we have called blood orange or maybe apricot or kind of a sunset um, look in one of those layers. So maybe in each one that I do, each Japanese wave that I do, perhaps I have one layer that has metallic or a color shifting Lux powder and um, I mix it up a bit. Okay, here we go. Oh, taking a deep breath because this is a big deal. These um, are not cheap <laughs> to create. Um, we have really beautiful wood and so I've got to take a breath and tell myself it's okay. I deserve something beautiful to work with and work on. And just to jump into it and let go of my concerns of, you know, will I mess it up? And what if I mess it up? And blah, 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 blah. It's time to let all that go and just have fun. And I find that when I'm having fun, Everything comes out much prettier anyways. So right now I am just trying to get a base layer of this dark, dark blue. Okay, so I've got that. I think it would be kind of a neat idea. Maybe if I, because we're seeing some of the the strokes back and forth. So maybe I do a little bit of a wave design just with, you see it right there, just with the foam brush, like 
nothing fancy, but just to kind of go along with the theme of this whole beautiful piece. There we go. Going back and forth nice and quickly is kind of nice to do to get your initial coverage, but then just go back and do a little, uh, little wave action. Okay, we did it guys, one layer, okay. Next, let's see, what do I wanna do next? I think I will set this one aside so it can dry. I just grabbed these trays, like they're like roasting pans from the dollar store. They work great. Remember, like clean your hands because we do not want to get fingerprints and you know all over our beautiful piece of wood here. This is just your ordinary baby wipe. They work so great for cleaning. I love them. Handy. Don't even have kids in diapers anymore, but I love those things. Okay, next layer. I need to take a breath. <laughs> Whew. Okay, I've got this. All right, I here is my brighter blue, but it's not quite it's not going to have enough contrast. It's a little, it's going to be too close, I think. So I need to mix it with, why don't I just mix it with uh, some of the teal color. Let's see how that goes. So it's about one third of like the teal green and two thirds of the blue see what I think of that because we want it to have enough contrast to the background. I think it's still too close. It's a little too close still, not different enough. All right, so maybe we're going to do like a 50-50 blend. Let's see how that goes. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, that is looking much more teal. And I think I'm still gonna take a little more of that green teal color, mix it in a bit more and uh, I mean, this is such a personal decision. It's totally up to you what you do. I'm gonna do a little bit more and then I'll add a touch of white to lighten it up. I always like to have white nearby. It's so, handy can make thousands of colors with white and just one other color. Okay, it's definitely getting more teal, but we need a little white to add to this party here. I'm gonna get some white out of my cup. Here we go. All right, I'm, it's just time. It's time to just go at this thing and have fun. So I'll do my base coat just back and forth like this. And then we'll do a little wavy action in just a second here. But let's at least get this beautiful teal color.
if it gets gloppy in these little grooves, just clean that out. Okay, now a little bit of a wave design. Just peaceful, relaxing. Okay, there we go. I see some of the gloppy coming out of the back. I'm gonna tap this without breaking it, but I wanna get that out. See, there's quite a bit that came out there. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. Again, we have to be kind of careful though to not break anything. My little fingerprints in the bottom here so I'm gonna fix that wave like design no biggie there we go that is so beautiful okay I'm gonna set it um, aside to dry and clean the hands again especially as we get to these lighter layers, I just don't want to get, you know, a big glop of teal on my light layers. Okay. I've got to decide when I want to do the gold. Here's what we've got left. We've got four. Remember this top one is our white waves. Maybe I do a softer mint color right here. I'm gonna use the other brush, uh, the, the same brush that I've been using and just kinda, you know, not be wasteful, just mix in with the color I have right here. Basically, you just can't go wrong when you add blues with teals and greens, and it's just stunning. So don't worry yourself about it. I think, let's see. I think that's gonna be, I think that's pretty good. And same thing. I'm so excited for this. I've been only mildly stressing. <laughs> um, like I said, like this is a very ornate piece. And, you know, it's not really what I would call a practice piece. <laughs> and um, this is my first, certainly not my first in painting, but my first um Japanese wave design I've done with these layers and I am just I'm so excited you know and there's that feeling of oh, I don't want to mess it up and I just have to remind myself just have a good time have a good time and you can't mess up if you're just using blues and teals and white I mean the colors go together no matter what shade, the colors go together. So there's nothing to stress about. Okay, look, we're getting quicker, guys. So wave-like design. Just go back, just in keeping with the look, with the wave and this peaceful feeling absolutely love this 
Okay. There we have it. I'm gonna let it go sit and dry. Oh my goodness, I think I'm ready for the gold. Which means clean, clean, clean. Get all this blue and teal you know, off of my fingers. Baby wipes are a lifesaver for babies and artists alike. Okay, it is important to keep our surface, our area clean. So I'm moving things out of my way. As a matter of fact, I don't know that I even like that blue that's in my tray. So, see ya. Okay, I will use it a different time when all that blue dries, but I have a very elegant layer that I need to do right now. I am not interested in screwing it up because I was too lazy to get out of a different tray. So here we go. Dollar store nail polish. And let's see if I can just brush it, if that would be fast enough, or if I need to pour it. Um, losing patience, I'm gonna grab another lid and just do it like this. And then I will use the, there's a little marble in there. I'm going to use the foam brush and just do it like I have everything else. Come on, Dollar Tree. So you can um, just use clear. It's not going to matter because the Sinatra powder is so, so fine that it will give you perfect coverage. This is just happened to be what they had today um so works just fine whether it's gold or clear no matter okay i am gonna grab a different um foam brush a nice clean one. Oh my gosh i'm so excited guys here we go Remember, I'm using the nail polish um, because it's so fast drying and I'm very, very excited to put all these layers together for you and hopefully in this whole, in this one video. So I'm going to let this one sit at an angle while I get out another one. Hurry up. I'm so excited to add the Sinatra powder to this layer. It's going to be amazing. There. Okay. We also want to make sure it doesn't dry before I get my Sinatra powder in there. So hurry it up, bottles. Come on out. Join the party. I hope are all of you like doing the same thing like come on it's like a ketchup bottle and you're starving oh I just got a good glop out oh that made me feel good okay let's see <laughs> I might even have to do the top first because this is really quick drying so I think we're gonna have to do top first and then oh come on guys I need your help here I feel like I'm talking to my children come on guys help me out <laughs> okay there we go Sinatra powder you can do it right over your bowl so it just goes right back in Oh my 
gosh. It's looking gorgeous. I feel like I'm making a little cake here. The prettiest, most beautiful cake. Okay. I can see little spots that it's not covering, which means I need to go back. The good news is this is the nail polish is drying so fast. So it's giving me hope that I'm going to be able to show you the finished project in this one video. Okay. Adding a little here. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, it's looking good. Come on, bottle. Do your thing. Is this a sign of nail polish being old when it takes forever? Or maybe it's just the glitter chunks. I don't know why it's taking so long. I do know I'm glad that I have baby wipes nearby because touching nail polish is really disgusting. Oh, there's a little wave that needs some love right there and right here. So let me get that covered because, well, perfectionist, so. <laughs> okay. Now we're working on the bottom. And since it is drying so fast, we better just do what we can. Like just almost right after I do a few little brush strokes, I gotta jump back and, and hit those spots with the powder. All right, come on. I'm speaking to the bottle over here. I'm like, hurry up. So because I am using nail polish, get some ventilation going. My studio really stinks right now. Okay. A little bit more. The nail polish is tedious, mostly because I'm in a rush. <laughs> and that's mostly because I'm just so excited. Humdy dum. Oh, oh, the satisfaction. Oh my goodness. That's what we needed, guys. That's what we needed. <laughs> okay, we, now we can finish off over here. And there's some over here that need a little love. Oh yeah, I think that just, I think we just finished. Thanks to that nice little glop. So what I'm gonna do is I will go back and just, you know, see if I miss little areas. Like right here. Let's see if I need to get little areas. So I'm gonna let this dry right now. We don't need to worry about the frame very much because that's gonna be covered up, but we really need to get all the waves. Okay. There we go. Tap. Oh, it's looking amazing. Oh, I see a little spot right here. Might as well get it just while I'm, I got everything out. I'm just gonna drop some polish right there. It is amazing how fast drying this polish is though. Makes it so we can finish our project even faster. All right, I'm setting all this aside. See you later, nail polish. You are stinky, but you're making this project really easy. Okay, it's just gonna sit right there. Tap, 
tap. I'm cleaning my hands from the nail polish. We really don't want all these chemicals on our hands. So that's all I'm doing behind the camera here is just closing up the lids and setting them aside and cleaning my hands. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's just gonna be gorgeous as a layer. Let me show you my workspace a little bit so you can see what's going on around me. Those are just drawing. And then I've got these two layers here. And then I've got my paints right here, nail polish. So that's how, that's what things are looking like behind the scenes. Another tray. This is another nice new clean tray. Um, that's important to me because these layers are important to me, so um, I don't want to contaminate each layer with the paint from underneath. So I'm thinking maybe white plus this mint or aqua. And I wonder what this kind of like a regular, this um, green. Like it's more of your foresty kind of green and typically that's not gonna look so hot but you know what let's give it a shot because they're different um like this is more warm this green that i've just mixed in with that aqua and the aqua is much more cool but what if we stirred it all together, mixed it all up? It might make for something really visually interesting. And if it doesn't, well, that just really sucks for me, doesn't it? Okay, I am gonna add some white. And I accidentally contaminated my white by adding that green, whoops. So I gotta make sure I probably should not use that when I create my waves because I'm gonna get green on that final layer. So this turned out to be kind of a pretty seafoam color. I think it's quite pretty. Okay. I might add, oh, just a touch of blue so it goes with our with the palette just a little bit better all you need to do is take all i just i took some from our teal and just add a little and that will bring the right hues all together make it so it works like so it doesn't clash is kind of what i'm trying to explain oh my gosh guys Oh, this is our last layer that has color. And then the next is we're just doing the white foamy part of the waves. And then we get to put it all together and see what it looks like. You could use wood glue, crazy glue. You can decide how you want to frame it. It comes with different holes that are already um, cut out, but I mean, I might put this in like a shadow box. Um, I mean, that's gonna be up to you how you would like to feature your art. Um, I will tell you that these will sell if you decide to start selling them. Um, first of all, we'll give you a discount on bulk. bulk purchasing of these and um, if 
you know, you want to paint yours and sell them. Bulk would be four or more. And we'll give you um, a cut in price. But my point is that they sell for a nice chunk of change. Uh, they're beautiful, they're unique, they're ornate. And then when you go and paint, uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm just doing my wave-like design. You know, my little wave-like motion so that my strokes don't just show as back and forth. It's a little trick to create additional visual interest. And here we go. That's it. I'm going to set that aside to dry. Get my lid out of here. And again, clean hands. So my tin looks pretty clean. Um, I see a little bit, like two little spots of mint paint that I'm just gonna wipe right out. And done. I don't know how I didn't make a mess with that layer. Maybe, I don't know. I, we're gonna just call it luck. I was gonna say, maybe I'm getting better at this. Mm, I don't know about that. Okay. Here's my contaminated white. I will use a little bit, but then that is it. Unfortunately, I'm running really low on white. So that is kind of a bummer. And I got some green on my white. Okay, cut a little bit. Now remember, I want my wood frame to show, so I'm keeping my hands off of it just in case I didn't get my hands completely clean and I'm only painting my water, my foam, just to this point right here, right there. This is the only part where I really, just, I want you to slow down, be methodical, thoughtful. Because you can't recover from it. If you're like me and you you want to, you know, accentuate the fact that this is wood, um, then we have to show people the wood part. And so this is the way I figured out how I could do it, where I still paint, but also show beautiful natural wood. There we go. You see how I stopped right there? It's really easy to do, but you do need to just take a breath, slow down. And uh, we'll produce gorgeous results. I'm going to get a little bit more paint on a fresh lid because the other one has green on it. Okay, here's a little more white running super low. This is just titanium white, Liquitex Basics. Making sure my hands are clean. They are not. <laughs> so I got a little bit of green on my baby wipe here, which tells me they were not clean enough. This is our top layer. It's really important that we're just a bit more careful there we go i had to concentrate <laughs> okay i'm just doing all the edges right now just to get it done especially when my foam brush is nicely loaded with paint. Remember, be really careful to not touch our edges with hands that have paint on them. Careful, careful. Go slow. 
This is the time, like phones should be off. Dogs, cats, and children, horses and chickens need to go away. <laughs> this is focus time just for this part. Okay, I got all my edges where the wave meets the frame. Now I'm gonna set this down. And I've um, cleaned my hands again because I need to touch the frame part a little bit, just to hold things still. So again, cleaning, cleaning, cleaning my fingers. Do not want to get paint on that beautiful wood edging. Moving my sleeve out of the way. I might be a little quiet for this part. Make sure that you tag Win Modern Art when you paint yours. I really would love to see what you do, what's your color palette, you know, what, um, what did you do with your layers? Did you leave one of the layers just wood? That's something else I'm thinking about doing with my next one. We, um, we create your orders Um, as as the order comes in, we create it special for you. And you, you place your order on winmodernart.com and uh, and then we start start cutting. We have a limited run on these. They take a long time. Um, the wood we use is high quality, and uh, so they're they're very ornate. So the time definitely takes time. Um, so if they are on the website and you see them available, buy a couple because we just don't know. Um, just don't know when we're going to do more or have more available. So if you are a lucky one that sees them on winmodernart.com, then load up. If you are wanting to purchase in some bulk, then, uh, which, you know, four or more, then just email orders at winmodernart.com, W-Y-N-N, modernart.com. Okay, we have all kinds of wooden shapes and fun, oh my gosh. So there's some white on the back. I'm just gonna tap with a paper towel. Get some of the white off. It's dangerous for me to try and layer this before knowing if everything is for sure dry. But my temptation, oh my goodness, the temptation to put it all together for you, it's killing me. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna set this layer. I cleaned my hands again, by the way. I'm gonna set this layer aside so it can dry and clear my workspace a touch. I think we'll have it right here on the black. Okay. Layer one. So I'm 
guessing this is layer two because it is the next dark color. Layer three, next light color. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so exciting. Sinatra, the golden layer. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me tap it. Really want to get the excess off. And I'm going to tap it a little bit more. It would be a great idea to seal this just like with some clear nail polish um, for right now though. Just so the powder doesn't, you know, get onto the other layers. But for right now, I've just tapped it, got as much excess off as possible. And look at this. Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with you. Okay, here we go. Oh, I gotta clean my hands again. Okay. Some of the nail polish came off when I was tapping. It wasn't quite dry. Again, really good idea to not just do it all in one. I mean, it's. We're at like 50 minutes in the video, <laughs> so, um, which means did it pretty quickly. I can tell that the back of the back of this one isn't quite, not quite ready yet, but I really want to show you the whole thing. It's just getting some excess paint off. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, taking a deep breath. Deep breath. Let me get that out. wave layer oh. oh my goodness oh my goodness I can't wait to show you okay here we go wow Oh, it's just makes me so happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. This was a big project and even I was holding my breath as I did some of these layers, but man, so worth it. So worth it to be brave and do something special for yourself. I'll go back if I see any spots that look like, you know, they weren't, there wasn't quite coverage or something. I mean, so far this looks actually amazing, but you know, don't be afraid to go back and just touch up little spots. If you see any, look at the sides are so neat looking, so beautiful. That Sinatra powder, um, that extra touch I am really, really glad I did that. You can do it with silvers. We have um, 
platinum powder, we have 24K powder, we have champ champagne powder, all these different shades of gold, rose gold, golden glow. I love adding metallics to my work. So there's a lot of options and choices. This is Victoria Wynn. Thanks for joining me in doing something so spectacular, beautiful, windmodernart.com for the six layered Japanese wave and for our Lux metallic powders. And in this one, again, I used Lux Sinatra powder. There's online courses to join and watch and all kinds of fun stuff on winmodernart.com. Thanks guys, I love ya. It's Victoria Wynn.